I got a great email from a mom this week, and I wanted to share with you the question that she asked me and what I shared with her as my response, because I think there are a lot of high school homeschoolers who want to do the same kind of thing. And a lot of parents that are trying to figure out, do I let my kid do this or not? She had written and told me that she had a child who was going into their senior year of high school, and she does not want to finish high school. She doesn't want to have to do any more school. She wants to get her GED and just be done. And so her mom was asking me, is this, does this make sense? Should I just go ahead and let her do that? And I want to tell you the things that I had told her. The first thing that I told her is that actually employers would much rather see a high school diploma than a GED. That is not true 100% across the board, obviously, but generally speaking, a high school diploma, even a homeschooled high school diploma, is going to carry more weight and seem more official to uh, employers than a GED. So that is something for them to consider going forward. What do they want to do after this? Her child has no interest in college, doesn't want to go that route, so they weren't having to worry about that. But they do need to think about, okay, what is she going to do? If, if she were to graduate, graduate, I guess I shouldn't even say graduate. If she was going to just finish and take her GED, what would she do after that? If she wants to get a job somewhere, people are going to wonder, why didn't you just graduate high school? Why did you get a GED? So that is the first thing that you need to tell your child if they're in the same position and, and asking you, hey, can I just get my GED and be done? The second thing that I told her was, your child needs to realize that the GED information, like the stuff that's on that test, is based on public high school education. What that means is if you have been homeschooling in a way that does not align with public high school, which quite frankly, I hope you're not homeschooling in a way that aligns with public high school because so much of what they do is just complete nonsense and completely unnecessary. And when we have the freedom as homeschoolers to tailor what we do to our kids, that's what we ought to do, not look at this artificial fake version of what everybody should be doing, which is not true, and use that as our template. Okay, off that soapbox. So when they are going to go take that test, that means that if they have not been educated in a way that aligns with that, they're going to have to do a ton of cramming and memorization of a bunch of useless information just to be able to pass that test. Now, if they're going to have to put in that amount of time and that amount of effort to learn a bunch of stuff that they don't even have to know that has no relevance to them whatsoever, doesn't it make a little more sense, a lot more sense to spend that time just working toward an actual homeschooled high school diploma instead? They're going to have to put work in either way. Chances are very slim that a typical homeschool child is going to be able to just go past the GED without any kind of work, without any kind of practice, without any kind of studying. And if they've been homeschooled in such a way that is more unschooling or uh, more holistic, then chances are they're going to be missing a lot of the information that public high school is going to, you know, is going to be teaching and that's going to be on something like a GED. So if they're going to spend that time, doesn't it make a lot more sense? to just finish out their high school diploma. Now, the third thing that I reminded this mom is, look, there is no such thing as a standard high school education. I'm going to do a whole other video on that in a little while. But I think a lot of us, when our kids get to high school, and I'm right there with you, I have a daughter that's going into um, her freshman year and a daughter that's going into her junior year. And even with all of the de-schooling I have done and all the coaching I have done, I still find myself very slowly falling into that feeling of, oh gosh, my kids really need to do all of this traditional high school stuff. And I have to stop myself and say, no, why? What makes me think that? There is no such thing as a standard high school education. Now, there are colleges many colleges, most colleges that assume children are going to be coming in, students are going to be coming in with a particular set of knowledge and skills. And that's because that's what public school teaches, right? They assume, you know, the vast majority of the kids that are going to go to college are coming from public school because that's where the vast majority of kids go to school, right? And so the colleges align what they do with the high schools 
and the high schools align what they do with what the colleges. And so it's just this big cycle where they're constantly going back and forth between each other and just affirming what each other does. But that does not mean that that education is anything special. It does not mean that that education is some standard that we are supposed to be setting for our own kids or that our children should be trying to achieve. And what happens is we get nervous as parents and we feel like, oh, we have to do all the same stuff. Well, if you've got a kid who is not bound for college, and at least not right now, and you know what, if they're bound for college in five years, three years, even two years, there are things that they can do that can mitigate the fact that they did not have a, a traditional education. It's not a big deal. It's really not. But if you've got a child who is really not interested in going to college, is not interested in academics, is not interested in typical education, then if you keep trying to force that kind of education on them, they're just going to push and push and push and resist and resist and resist. So instead of pushing, we need to back up and say, hey, what does this child actually need? What are the skills that this child actually requires in order to go out into the world, get a job, be successful, be independent, be sufficient, self-sufficient, be able to be a productive, contributing member of society. What does this child need in order to do that? And in the vast majority of states here in the United States, you as the homeschooling parent are the principal who gets to decide what requirements you're going to set for high school. So you do not have to set all of the same requirements that public school says. You do not have to require the same kind of information, the same kind of testing, the same kind of knowledge base, any of that. Completely tailor what you're doing to your child. That is like the beauty of homeschooling, is it not? When we pull back and we say, okay, I see that you have no interest whatsoever in academics and you're not at all interested in college. So let's sit down and figure out what you do need. Well, chances are what they do need is not going to take four years of high school. And there is nothing that says high school needs to be four years and that it needs to be this many credits. That's an artificial makeup of what education is. It's not official. There is no such thing as official. And just because your state says, oh, you have to have these things to graduate does not make it official either. Now, it does mean that you do have to work within you know, those boundaries, right? You do have to color within their lines, but you still have wiggle room. Even if your state requires that your child take certain classes in high school or cover certain information, you have a lot of freedom in how you are going to do that. And that's one of the things that I help parents with in the simplified homeschooling community, figuring out how to work within those kinds of boundaries um, and still give their child a tailored and customized education that actually teaches them what they really do need to know. So if you have been pushing and pushing and your child has been resisting, resisting, and just says, fine, I just want my GED. I just want to be done with this. Then maybe what you need to do is stop pushing and back off a bit and say, okay, let's sit down together and figure out what you really, really need. And once you've got that stuff done, you can be done. I will graduate you. Doesn't matter if it takes them four years. Doesn't matter if they have a certain number of credits. Doesn't matter if you even figure out credits, okay? You're the homeschool principal. You get to decide what this is going to look like. And it makes a lot more sense to tailor those requirements to that child. Even if you have multiple children, that does not mean that you have to set the same requirements for all of them. Why would you do that? that because your children are not standardized either, right? If you have one child that's college bound and one that's not, why would you require the non-college bound child to do all of the college prep kind of stuff? It doesn't make any sense, right? So I hope that if you have found yourself in this position or if you do in the future, that this has helped you to kind of think in a different perspective about how you can approach that. And I'd also hope uh, that if you have a child that is, is asking you this um, and is wanting to take the GED, that this will maybe help them to see, okay, maybe that's not necessarily the best way to go. Um, why don't I leverage this opportunity that I have to get myself an education that is actually going to give me what I need for the future, instead of just cramming my head with a whole bunch of useless junk that I'm going to jettison as soon as I've taken the test. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you again later. Bye.